often think of our fellow primates at the top of the intelligence list, with their ability to use tools like sticks and rocks to access food. Long-tailed macaque forage for shellfish on islands off Thailand, then crack them open with stone tools. They target the largest rock oysters, bludgeoning them with stone hammers, and pry open the shells with the flattened edges of their tools. This heron carefully places a tiny piece of bread in the water, then grabs the fish that comes to eat it. Basically, this is the very human activity of fishing. But if we survey the world of animals, one of the smartest is one that is perhaps unexpected. An animal that isn't a mammal at all, but a bird, crows, or more generally, corvids. Corvids are mischievous, playful, and extremely intelligent. They use tools to forage and to solve complex problems. They even drop nuts on a road for cars to crack, and then pick them up with the safety of pedestrian lights. The level of intelligence varies between the species, but scientists have found that the new Caledonian crow is the most intelligent, they're to corvids what we are to the rest of the primates. New Caledonian crows can build tools, and not just simple ones, but ones with multiple parts. Unlike other species, corvids spend more time with their parents. New Caledonian crows, for example, are fed by their parents for up to two years. During this time, they have ample access to role models who are making and using tools and have the opportunity to use these tools themselves. This extended parenting time allows skills to be transmitted vertically, meaning from parent to offspring. The crows were presented with various tubes filled with water with a treat floating on top, which they couldn't quite reach. In one trial, when presented with a treat inside a tube of water and a treat sitting on top of sand, the crows knew to drop rocks into the water-filled tube to raise the water level to reach the treat, and ignored the tube with sand. Their skill level at deciphering and completing these tasks is similar to five to seven-year-old children. Fish might just be a bit more intelligent than we give them credit for, well this fish at least. This orange-dotted tusk fish likes to eat clams. But how does a fish defeat a clam? Well, it uses a neat trick to expose one buried in the sand. The fish grabs the clam in its mouth and, using all its power, smashes it against a coral. The blows are so precise that, after a short time, the shell breaks apart. The fish then eats it all up, swallowing the soft flesh and spitting out shattered shell fragments. Mm -hmm.